What is up YouTube, IDM here and welcome back to another video. So I'm gonna show you guys how to restore your root file system over SSH. Now this is kind of an end all be all kind of thing that you will wanna attempt if you have a problem with your jailbreak. But I just wanted to demonstrate the power of SSH and how it could possibly save your jailbreak. Now I know that most of the time if you install some bad tweaks and it renders your jailbreak useless, you can just force reboot your device out of the jailbroken state and then you can use the jailbreak application itself to restore the root file system. But in some very rare cases, sometimes people's buttons are broken and you can't actually force restore the iPhone. And this is how you can fix it. Uh, like I said, we're gonna be doing this over SSH, so there are some things that you would have uh, you would have had to have installed before you do this. Uh, so this is just kind of demonstrating the power of OpenSSH. So if you guys are into jailbreaking and you don't have OpenSSH or haven't tinkered with it, I highly recommend you guys to start learning how to use it because it can be a savior, an absolute savior to your jailbreak. And I'm not joking. There's so many things you can do with SSH. You can uninstall packages off of the jailbroken iPhone. Uh, you can restore the root file system like I'm going to demonstrate. There's just so many things you can do with this and it's very, very powerful uh, if you're into jailbreaking. So this is on my iPhone 10. We are jailbroken with CheckRain. The command that I'm going to be running in this video can be slightly different depending on which jailbreak you're on. If you're on an uncovered jailbreak, the Taurine jailbreak, or the CheckRain jailbreak. Uh, so I'll try to leave all the info listed in the description depending on which jailbreak you're using. Now in Cydia or Cilio, there are a couple of things that we have to have installed before something like this happens. And I'm going to show you guys what happens when something catastrophic happens with the with the jailbreak. And I also want to mention uh, a big shout out uh, to Nathan here on the Reddit jailbreak discord. A uh, big shout out to this guy for figuring out this kind of method in which I'm going to break my iPhone 10. Um, it was actually pretty funny in the Reddit jailbreak uh, Discord asking everyone there how I can break this iPhone 10 to show you guys how to restore the root file system over SSH. It was a pretty funny conversation. Um, and like I said, Nathan came up with a great method in which I can break this iPhone 10. So I do not recommend to break your iPhone. Like I said, I am doing this for demonstration purposes to show you guys if it were to ever happen to you how to fix your iPhone. So in Cydia, we need open SSH installed. You need this installed. It is mandatory to do this method. This is to me, or becoming to me, one of the most crucial and important tweaks you can install on a jailbroken iPhone. So open SSH. And then the other thing you need is called Snappy. Now on the check range jailbreak, this installs automatically. Uh, but if you're on like Taurine or Uncover, you might have to install this separate. So just make sure you have OpenSSH and Snappy installed on your device, and this can absolutely save it. So Snappy, as you can see, is a tool for APFS snapshot management. So this is going to allow us to restore our root file system. So again, both packages are mandatory. Now this next part, what I'm gonna do is break this iPhone. So do not do this part. This is only for demonstration purposes. So I'm gonna go into files. Uh, I'm actually gonna back up here so you guys can see the file directory so you can see what I'm doing. So if we go into var here, we go to system, we go to library, and then we go down to uh, core services right here. And then we go and find the springboard.app. So right there. So I'm gonna change the name of this folder. Don't ever do this, <laughs> okay? I'm only doing this as demonstra uh, demonstration purposes. Like I said, this will break your jailbreak. This will break it, guys. So again, I'm gonna break this iPhone just to show you that I can fix it without doing anything on the iPhone at all. So I'm just gonna add this at the end of the springboard.app name and click done. Now there's no changes that have been taken effect yet. That happens when we respring. So it still works, but as soon as I respring this iPhone, it's gonna break. So we're gonna hop onto the Mac now. 
And uh, again, I could do this from my iPhone through Shelly. I've, I showed you guys how to do that in a previous video. I'll leave my open SSH videos that I've done in the description if you guys wanna see more details on this kind of stuff. But if we go into terminal on the Mac now, so what I'm gonna do is connect to this iPhone 10. So uh, even if it was broken, you can still connect via SSH. So it's pretty cool. So even if your iPhone is broken, you can still do this. So we're gonna do a SSH uh, root at and my iPhone 10 IP address is 192.168.1.29. We're gonna click enter. And then I put in my, my passcode for SSH and we are logged into my iPhone over SSH currently. Now I'm going to respring the iPhone and officially break it. SB reload. And you guys will see, oh, apparently I SB Reload. Ah, okay, a miss, a mistype there. I used R instead of S, so my bad. SB reload, and the iPhone goes into a respring loop, and that basically breaks the iPhone. Now again, like I said, I'm pretending like I can't use my buttons on my iPhone. I'm pretending they're broken. So essentially, I don't think there's really anything I could do if they're broken and except for like maybe let the iPhone die and then try to charge it back up, but nobody's got time for that. So we're gonna fix it over SSH. So now within SSH, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run the snappy command, which is going to restore the root file system. So it's S -A or S N A P P Y space negative O. And there you go. We'll rename snapshot original, blah, blah, blah. Uh, reboot to stock to complete the uh, reversion. Okay, so we're gonna reboot the iPhone now just by typing reboot. And we disconnected from the iPhone. And now the iPhone is going to boot back up. And I did this without touching the iPhone. That's why I just wanted to show you guys this because the power of open SSH is pretty damn sweet. If you have a jailbroken iPhone, I cannot recommend learning and using this enough. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. I can't believe I even gotten into this, you know, before this point, I mean, I have in the past, but not this crazy, but boom, we got a working iPhone again. Now, of course it did perform a reboot and a restore to the file system. So at this point I would need to plug it back into my computer and run check rain to re jailbreak it essentially, and then start installing all my tweaks again. Um, or you could, you know, reinstall the Uncover app or the Touring app, or if you already have it with like Alt Store, you can just run the jailbreak application again and re-jailbreak it. But just take note that you do need to reinstall all of your tweaks. But I mean, that's really not that bad considering, you know, your other option would be to fully restore the iPhone with like iTunes and that forces you to lose a jailbreak. So again, like I said, this is demonstration purpose just showing the power of open SSH, how you could use it to absolutely save your jailbreak. Um, so hopefully you guys found this video useful. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys wanna see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.